Hello friends, we are back with a new maths problem. So today's problem is to find the last two digits of this big number. So we have 10 raised to the power of 93 and in the denominator we have 10 raised to the power 31 plus 3. And this square bracket it denotes the uh, floor function or the greatest integer function. For example if we have let's say 10.5 then this value will return 10. If we have minus 1.5, it will return one lower value. So minus 1.5 floor function will be minus 2. But plus 1.5, it will return 1. So this complete value and then we have this floor function. So please pause the video and calculate its last two digits and resume the video for the complete solution. Now let's see the solution. So we have this value. So uh, it's easier to assign some variable to this big number. So if you see here this 31 and this 93. So this 93 is 3 times 31. So if you take this 10 raised to the power 31 as variable x, then this is x cube. So this value becomes x cube divided by x plus 3. Now we can add and subtract some number. It will not create any difference. So we added 3 cube and subtracted 3 cube. Now this first part and this will be the first part, first two digits and then the last one we will remove as the second part of this fraction. So we have two parts now. So uh, we know that a cube plus b cube is equal to a plus b multiplied by a square minus ab plus b square. You can see that pattern here x cube plus 3 cube. So let's use that formula. So x plus 3 x square minus 3x plus 3x 3 square denominator remains same the second part remains same now this x is 10 raised to the power 31 so it's a big number plus 3 so it's a still a positive number it's not 0 so we can cancel these two values so these two get cancelled now uh, if you look at this value so this denominator is gone so the first part is just x square minus 3x plus 3 square so x square is 10 raised to the power of 62 minus some value so this will be some integer so if there is any integer integer plus some other value floor function that will be same as we can take that integer out for example if we have some integer let's say 10 or 15 plus 2.5 so we can write it as 10 outside 2.5 because 10 plus 2.5 is 12.5 that will be 12 Similarly, if you take 10 out and then just take the floor of 2.5, that will be 2. So 10 plus 2, 12. So this is integer. So we can take it outside. And the remaining is this 3 cube is 27. So plus this is minus 27 by x plus 3. We cannot write uh, this uh, minus here since as we saw minus 1.5 floor function is minus 2 but for plus 1.5 it's 1 so the sign should be preserved within it since this minus was inside this uh, floor function now uh, let's focus on this part so x is a very big value 10 raised to the power 31 big positive value and this is just 27 a small value so what will be this fraction it will be first of all it's negative so it's less than zero but this if you look at just the absolute value then the denominator is a very large value so it will be zero point something less than one but this is negative so it will be more than minus one but less than zero so the floor function will be minus one for, for this entire value so we can again get rid of this floor function now that floor function is gone this 9 minus 1 is 8 so we have a much simplified uh, value now to solve so now let's solve this so we know that x was 10 raised to the power 31 so let's put the value back so 10 raised to the power 62 minus 3 times 10 raised to the power 31 plus 8 so we can take this 10 to the power 31 common in the first two terms so uh, this 10 to the power 31 minus 3 remains and plus 8 remains 
so if you look at this value within the bracket it's uh, 31 zeros one followed by 31 zeros minus 3 so it will be some integer and then that integer is multiplied to 10 to the power 31 so we will have some integer some value and followed by 31 zeros and then plus 8 so we are not worried about the exact value since the problem is to find just the last two digits so we have some value and then lots of zeros 31 zeros we are not worried we are only worried about last two digits here so let's say we have last two digits are also zero and then we add eight so the last two values will be zero and eight so the answer is that the last two digits of that big term was zero eight so i hope uh, you enjoyed this problem so please subscribe the channel for more such problems and thanks for watching